Hi everybody, uh, it's Mike here. Uh, we're going to do a little econometrics, this time in R. Uh, so this little uh, video here is just going to walk through uh, the very beginning, right? How to download R and R Studio. We'll create a little example data set and then we'll be up and running. Uh, so a little bit of background. I'm, I've am i been using Stata for a long time in academic research and teaching econometrics. Uh, and I'm finally uh, getting on board uh, learning uh, R and R Studio to do the same things. Uh, so I'm assuming a lot of people out there are in the same boat, either translating skills they already have from SAS, Stata, eViews uh, into R, or if you're just learning econometrics, uh, R is a great place to start. And the A number one reason why it's gaining popularity is because it's free, right? So there's zero cost uh, to enter into data analysis using R and R Studio. So step number one, uh, we need to go to this uh, website here, the cran.r-project.org. Link will be in the description. Um, and there are two, basically, software packages that we're going to need to download here. Uh, where we're at right now, we will get the R package. Uh, and then there's, uh, on top of that, will be the R Studio, uh, which is the kind of the newer version. It's more of a graphical user interface and it allows us to access all the coding in R, but in a much uh, more user-friendly way. So once we're on this uh, CRAN project, so the Comprehensive R Archive Network, there's tons of stuff here, tons of resources uh, that we'll get back to later on. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm assuming most of us are going to be downloading this for either Mac or Windows. Uh, I'm running Windows on this machine. So I'll just click on that, and then we're just going to want the base option here. And they even have us ready to go, so we're installing R for the first time, I'm assuming here. And the latest version here, uh, 3.5.2 in February 2019. We're going to click on that, and then we'll hit Save, and that'll drop it into our hard drive. I've already got it, so I don't need to do that last step, but you go ahead and do that. And while that's going, we're going to add the second layer here. We're going to go to rstudio.com and download this package. And again, all of this is uh, available for free. You will notice that there are some options here for rstudio. There are the two free options, which obviously we're going to be uh, attracted to. Uh, and then there are these more uh, commercial, extensive uh, versions that if you're going to be creating content or running R uh, uh, on a server, uh, you can come back and do that later on. We're just going to keep it real basic here. Uh, so we do have the option of, of downloading it, running it from our desktop uh, or the R Studio server here where we can uh, operate it from a browser. I'm assuming everyone's going to be downloading this to a a desktop or download it to a hard drive and so we're going to choose the R Studio desktop option and then we click on our version of choice again, so various versions of Windows from Vista up to 10 and Mac OS and again for me I would click on the Windows version click on save and that'll get us up and running and now once we have that we can go ahead and, ahead and open these up. And if you just open up R, well, not a whole lot going on here, right? So we have the, the window where we would input our code. And if you know what you're doing, anything you can do in R Studio, you can do in R base language uh, as well. However, you have to know exactly what you're doing from, uh, from the beginning. So if you open up R Studio, this looks a little bit more familiar, especially if you're coming from, from Stata. So we're going to have some kind of drop down menu options. And this is where we're going to be inputting our code. This is where we'll see our, our data sets up here. Uh, and so just to get a, a kind of a feel for, for what we're going to be doing, let's go ahead and create and input our first data frame. So a data frame is uh, simply the, uh, the two-dimensional 
rectangle of, of data in uh, rows and columns that we're used to, to, uh, to seeing, thinking of it as a, a spreadsheet just read in R. So go ahead and open up Excel, and we'll just, later on, we'll import some, some actual data, but just to get the feel for it, we'll have a Y variable and an X variable, and let's just imagine, plug in some numbers there, while x is increasing, we'll say y is decreasing. And we'll go ahead and save it. Uh, and RStudio can read this as a, a an Excel file directly uh, or a CSV file. But there's no real reason to save it as anything other than an Excel file. So we'll go ahead and just drop this on the desktop. So our example. And then we can go back, open up our studio, and right up here, import data set from text from Excel. We can read directly from SPSS, SAS, or Stata. Again, we'll take advantage of those options a little bit later on. Uh, but we can just go straight from Excel, find my file on my desktop here. Right. There it is. And there we have the little data that we just made up. So when we want to call this up or refer to specific variables within this data frame, we're going to have to use this name when we use our code down here. Uh, and then we can get the visual of the data up there. And then the output that we have, graphs, etc., are going to show up down here. And that's where we'll pick up next time. So we've got R installed. We've got a data set to play with. We are ready to go. Thanks a lot.